Hello everybody and welcome to my new series weekly excel hacks. Uh, they're taking a bit of a different format from my previous tutorials where I've been more kind of trying to teach you from basics to professional uh, and actually just giving you some tips and tricks, some handy things that you're able to use um, kind of just in your excel and uh, if you haven't already then check out my tutorials because a lot of the things I'm going to go through um, will be in those if you want to learn how to do those uh, but this is kind of for people who know how to use Excel a little bit and just gives you a few quick and handy tricks so each week I'm going to give you two mini uh, hacks and one super hack uh, so this week I'm going to show you how to repeat the same task you've done again which is very useful uh, I'm going to show you how to quickly fill in the current date and time and I'm going to show you how to automatically uh, f filter by colour. So, three very useful things, and it saved me a lot of time in the past. Uh, so, let's jump into our first hack of the week. Right, so, our first hack of the week is our repeat task hack. Uh, and this is one that I learned a while back. Uh, now and when it when I first learned it, blew my mind because I was sat there coloring in all my cells like this: select one, color one, select one, color one, select one, color one, select one, color one. And then this guy who worked for Deloitte, uh, fancy consultant guy, uh, very very friendly guy, uh, came along and was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Well, I'm just coloring them in." He was like, "No, press F4." And this blew my mind. What this does is it just repeats the last task you did. Uh, so rather than having to go and click up here every time, you just go onto your next cell and press F4. And it will colour it in or do whatever the last task was on that cell. So let's say I make this one bold and I want to make another one bold. And then I can just press F4 again and it will do it again. Or if I delete a line, so you right click here and delete a line. Uh, I want to delete this line as well, just F4, and it does the same task again. And almost everything that you do, you can use F4 for just to repeat the previous task. So, uh, insert column, go over here, F4, insert another column, F4, insert lots more columns. Uh, same with row, so insert a row, F4, insert lots more rows. Uh, and it's very really useful. So hopefully that one helps you out a lot. So that is your first hack of the week. Next up, we've got a very super fast, quick hack. Uh, and it's filling in the current date and time very quickly. Uh, now in order to do this, uh, it's very simple. Uh, you just press control and semicolon. That will give you the current date. Uh, I will just drop it in the cell. The beauty of this one is it works across all of Microsoft Office. So uh, if it works in Word, it works in Outlook, it works in PowerPoint. So it's all really good. Uh, to do the time, it's similar. So just press Control, Shift, and semicolon. And that will give you the current time. So current time for me is 9.13 on the 6th of May. Uh, to do date and time, you just do Control, semicolon to give you the date. Press a space. And then control shift, shift semicolon. But what? Control shift semicolon uh, to give you the date and time. And the cell isn't big enough, just make it a bit bigger. So that is your super quick hack of the week. And it is the moment we've all been waiting for. It is the super hack. Uh, and uh, I know we're all very excited about this. Um, all my super hacks are going to do one every week. Uh, and they're all going to be a little bit longer and a little bit more complex, but probably arguably a lot more useful as well. Uh, so this this week I'm going to show you how to use the color index formula, and it's a custom formula I've made myself. So you are going to need to use a little bit of VBA, uh, but don't worry if you don't know what VBA is or how to use it. You can just download it from my site. Uh, so if you've got you need the source files, click on the link in the description somewhere down here, maybe or over here somewhere down in the description. You know where the description is. Um, 
click download on that it'll give you these files and you'll have episode one as a spreadsheet uh, which is the spreadsheet i've got open here and you also have this ypn color module dot basic uh, uh or dot bass and we just need to import this file into your editor so press alt f11 uh, and then just right click on your objects and go to import file and select that file um we then have this YPN color module in here. Uh, for those that do know VBA, uh, I've got two functions in here. Uh, I've got this first function, which is very simply uh, just a custom formula uh, that takes a range and returns the uh, color index of that range. Uh, I've then also got another function in here that when you press Control, Shift and C, um, it, anything you've got highlighted, it will color them the value of that cell. So I'll use that one in a second. So those are the two functions that we're going to be using. Uh, and I will put them like that for a second. So you can pause it and copy it if you want to. Um, or you can download it from the website in said description. So let's close that. So now you've got those installed. Uh, you just need to go to your color index. Uh, column that you want to put your color indexes in uh, and just go equals color index open bracket and then just pass it the cell that you want to select the color from uh, and then you can just click and drop this like any formula um, now you notice here that my formulas over on this side there are count ifs that work off of the various color indexes. Now give me a little bit of data around which color is filled in. Uh, so often I've been sent data with people who've colored it in and gone, yeah, tell me some stuff about it now. I'm like, I can't, you've colored it in. Uh, but uh, once I learn how to do this, it's great because we can put some stats behind it. Uh, we can also put it in a pivot table so if we highlight it go to insert and pivot table uh, and then now we've got our color index which we can put in our table in order to give us some uh, useful information uh, we can also use our second function so if i highlight these and press Control shift c uh, and it will just color those in for me based on the color uh, and again in the pivot table we can do the same thing so control shift c uh, and it will color them in for us uh, and i'm just going to save that pivot table down in the excel file you'll download as well um, and that is it so it's really useful for doing your formulas off of colors uh, creating pivot tables off of colors uh, in older versions of excel it's good for using with your filters uh, in the newer versions, you can just filter by color anyway, so it's not an issue. But in the older versions, you can't do that, so it's also useful for you to be able to filter them. Um, and that is our final hack of the week. So if you, if you enjoyed these, just please let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, there'll be a subscribe button somewhere up here. There we go, around there. Uh, click subscribe. Um, and uh, if you have your own hacks you want to submit to me then please drop them in the comments send me an email uh, I'll put my email address in the comments below uh, in the description below um, or check it on our Facebook or our Twitter pages so uh, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you next week <laughs>